Hang on. See, it's okay. Now it's now it is. You got the counter on the top going one, two, three. I do. Yeah. Okay. So you're hopping on the floor. Okay. You're going to get a baseline of your symptoms just so you know what you're starting with. You're being objective with yourself. You're going to go into your press up. If you're feeling that right side pain like you did today, that's fine. You're going to go through five, six reps to see if it's getting better. If it does, you're going to go through another five, six reps. And better means less and less painful or that right side moves midline. If it moves midline, that's a good thing and it should just be getting less and less and less. If that happens, great. If it doesn't, no problem. Just test it out. Then you transition over. Whether you do the ball or the roller first makes no difference. You're gonna start with the roller, kind of lower shoulder blades. Arms are on the floor. We're going down. It's gonna get difficult and then painful. And then you're gonna come back up to the easy spot. I want you to go through 10, 15 repetitions once you're done there, we're holding head, not neck. We're starting also at the bottom of the shoulder blades. We're opening everything up, hips up, and we're going up into the neck and back down to the bottom of the shoulder blades. So basically this is kind of the upper third and before you're doing the lower two thirds. Up here, it shouldn't have any effect on your low back. It's more that right side spot. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you get your 10 to 15, you take a break, you're then going to the ball, and I'll just show you on the left side, but you're going to do actually more on the right than the left. You're going to have more of a mid to upper butt spot, and then a super upper butt spot. If you go too far, I'm on my hip bone right now, you'll feel it, you're as bony as I am. So you want to go just below that hip bone, left ankle over right knee, when you're on the left side, you're going into the ouch, out of the ouch, working that back and forth. You're going to move it down subtly and do the same thing here couple minutes on the left, couple minutes on the right. That's set one. You're right back to this, another 10, 15 low, another 10, 15 up high. And then you're gonna go back and bang out a couple more minutes per side. So really, if you had four plus minutes on the right total and two, three on the left, just because there's more going on there, and then two sets of 10 to 15 reps per spot on the roller. Last thing, you're done with that. You're back here and you should get that appreciation if this didn't get better initially, you're going, okay, that feels really nice and easy now. And we just want to see this be more and more clear day to day to day. Uh, frequency in which you do that. For sure, two times a day. And you know, honestly, like today, Saturday, Sunday, twice is great. Is you're getting reinforcement that it's only getting less and less painful to do the exercise and you're feeling better throughout the day. Starting Monday, Tuesday, you can absolutely do it three times a day. Good. Okay. So all in on the floor, I mean, you're gonna have times where like you have more time and times you have less time.